Okay. At this point in the lesson, you're probably thinking, this is all pretty neat, but how is it any useful? Why would I want to pause code execution in the middle of uh, running an app? Well, in the last part of our lesson, I'm going to explain how to use Pry as a debugging tool. So let's dig in. In our previous videos, we paused the execution, but let's say we have a screen light that looks a little something like this. Oh, yuck. Sinatra tries its best to give us hints as to where our code failed, but sometimes we just can't be sure. In this case, Sinatra is saying, well, take a look at the error message. If we crawl all the way up this stack trace, we see here an undefined comments for no class. And this is going to happen in post controller at Ruby 8. So, you can probably guess what we're going to do next. We're going to add a binding.pry to this. So above my comments here, I'm going to put a binding.pry. And after I do that, I'm going to add the one thing I shouldn't forget, which is a require pry. This is going to be saved. And now I'm going to refresh the screen. Oops, I should refresh the screen. And what we see here is my code stopped exactly where I told it to stop. So we can test out a couple things. So you can see above the line that we're missing, but let's say I didn't know what that line was. So if I try and do at post, I'm going to see, oh, that's interesting. I'm getting a nil, which is exactly what that error was telling me. I was getting nil. Hmm. So let's do a post.find like I have above the params ID. Ah, and that gives me back exactly what I'm looking for. So it turns out I forgot to uncomment out one of my lines of code. So now I can type exit. I come out of the REPL. It's going to fail still, but that's okay. I'll come out of here. I'll uncomment this out. I'll comment out my binding.pry for now. And now when I refresh my page, what I should see is my comment that loads.